Hello and welcome back to the African Informant. In this video, we are discovering Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. Located in the heart or center of Nigeria, Abuja is the eighth most popular city in Nigeria. Built in the 1980s, the construction of Abuja was carefully and keenly planned by a Japanese architect called Kenzo Tange. Abuja currently serves as the capital city of Nigeria since 1991 when the status of the capital was taken from Lagos. The move to shift the capital from Lagos was mainly aimed at decongesting Lagos which was getting overcrowded day by day as people moved from rural areas to Lagos for better opportunities. Since acquiring the status of the capital, the population in Abuja has been growing steadily over the years. As of 2023, Abuja is experiencing an economic growth of approximately 35% annually making it the fastest growing city in Africa and one of the fastest growing cities in the world. The metropolitan area of Abuja as of 2023 has approximately 7 million people, second only to Lagos as the most populous metropolitan area in Nigeria. Apart from serving as the capital city of Nigeria, this city also serves as the regional headquarters of OPEC and also the headquarters of the Economic Community of West African States or ECOWAS. Abuja is known to be the most organized city in Africa because of the master plan that was put in place by the Japanese architect Kenzo Tange. The master plan of the city defined the design elements and the general structures that are now clearly visible. Because of this master plan, most buildings in Abuja appear more beautiful and very modern looking. Besides the master plan, most buildings have also been recently built which makes them appear new and beautiful. Abuja is definitely a model city that most African cities should aspire to be very clean, modern, and well organized. Abuja has some of the best roads in the continent. In fact, most of the roads in Abuja are better compared to those in Lagos. The roads in Abuja are very clean and well maintained. Compared to Lagos, the roads in Abuja have less traffic and smooth flowing. These roads are well tarmacked and marked and it is very difficult to find a pothole. This city is very well connected and if you are a car owner, driving in or through Abuja feels like driving in paradise. While in Abuja, you might be looking for a beautiful place to relax and do some shopping. The Jabi Lake Mall is the biggest mall in Abuja. This mall has a serene and beautiful environment to relax with an amazing view of the Jabi Lake. The Jabi Lake is actually a man-made lake that was created to provide water for the residents of Abuja. The Jabi Lake Mall is a major landmark in Abuja. While in Abuja, you might also be looking to buy things from the market. In that case, the Wuse market has got you covered. Wuse market is the biggest and the most busiest market in Abuja. In this market, you will find everything you need, ranging from clothes, foodstuffs, furniture, electronics, rugs, phones, carpets, and many more. The Wuse market is also another iconic landmark in Abuja.
Another major landmark in Abuja is the Millennial Park. Located in the Maitama district of the city, this is the biggest park in Abuja with a very beautiful greenery. A lot of activities are carried out in this park, including walks, picnics, weddings, and photo shoots. Despite being a very well maintained public park, it is absolutely free to enter into this park. The park was inaugurated by Queen Elizabeth II in 2003. Abuja is a city that is experiencing exponential growth in its real estate sector. The real estate sector has been a major factor driving the economy of Abuja. Since the city is also growing in population and infrastructure as well, this sector is expected to grow more and more over the coming years. Both local and foreign investors who have seen the future potential of real estate in Abuja are emptying their pockets in this market. Despite having an impact on the outlook of the city, the real estate sector has also created employment opportunities for many people. And with that, we come to the end of this amazing episode of the beautiful city of Abuja. Be sure to like, share and subscribe as I bring you more information on the African continent, people and culture.